Buenos dias, my friends, and welcome to another video from Tales from the Road. Today, we're in a beautiful country called Chile. This South American nation is known for being an extremely good example of the variety that you can find here in South America, having the desert in the north, the glaciers in the south, and everything in between. Today, we're in the capital city, Santiago, to visit its Mercado Central, Central Market. We're gonna check out its food culture, we're gonna see a little bit what's going on here in the city, and we're gonna taste some damn delicious stuff along the way. Let's do it, vamos. So here we are, walking through the big bad center of Santiago. It's busy, it's loud, lots of people, hola, hola, hola. Lots of things going on here. But what we're doing is we're going to go inside this central market right here. This is the Mercado Central of Santiago. It was built in the 1860s as sort of event exhibition hall. And since then it's been turned into a central place for people to buy, to sell, and especially to eat. So they've got a bunch of different restaurants over here. This whole street is lots of different vending situations, people selling, people buying. It's very loud here, very loud, very aggressive. I like it. So let's get into the market. So oddly enough, this central market here is known for its fish and the lovely variety that you can get here, the freshness, the beautiful nature of this South American country. You get absolutely beautiful fish all over here. And um, it's weird because Santiago itself is a landlocked city and the nearest port is probably two hours away, but you get really good examples of fresh fish like these guys, look at these. One of the most interesting things you can find here is locos, which is a traditional to the region uh, kind of mollusk. These things are very expensive. They cook these in a very particular way, sometimes in ceviche, sometimes uh, just kind of served raw. And they're a very prized and particular culinary find in this country. Here we are in the center of the market. It's a very particular, and it very much does look like the kind of exhibition hall that they were going for. All these metallic outlines, very, very old. And then here in the center, they've got a beautiful little person, you know, with a fountain. Very, very nice. The only thing to do in a fish market is go eat some fish. Hola, hola. Hola, What's up, my man? How are you? Good, good, good. How are you? I've sat down now at a very traditional restaurant here in this Mercado Central. This is called Clarita. And I've ordered something very traditional, which I'll show you in a second. But first, we've got some wrapped bread. Never seen that before. And a little salsa appetizer. First, I'm starting this meal with a pisco sour. This is a traditional alcohol pisco. It comes from Chile. It's made out of grapes. Kind of like a whiskey version of grappa. So it's not super strong in the grape flavor, but it is delicious. And they mix it with a sour mix and then they normally top it with uh, traditionally like whipped up egg whites. It's a really delicious drink and probably one of the cheapest drinks you can drink in Chile. This was about $3.50. Saludo. So the food is here and I like what I'm seeing. Right here we've got a dish called congrio a la porre. A la porre is a very traditional preparation of a Chilean dish, which basically means some sort of meat with fries, a fried egg, and some sort of sauteed onion situation. Uh, congrio is a very traditional fish that you can pretty much only find here in Chile. It seems like to be a white fish, really nice. And look at this, all of this for about 12 US dollars. Very impressive, very ready to get in there. The congrio is a really nice white fish. Not too much flavor, but very nice, just like a, kind of like a cod. Very nicely fried. This is basically like fish and chips with a little bit of added Chilean flavor. Delicioso. Mm. All right, we're back out onto the streets after that delicious meal. Very, very good. I have to say, Latin American food, 
Very heavy, very heavy. So an interesting thing about Chile and about their food culture, especially their street food culture, is that it's not necessarily super Chilean. So talking to my Chilean friends, uh, a couple years back, there were very large riots and there's been a lot of immigration from Venezuela and Colombia. And it's really changed the city and the dichotomy of what's being sold here, the kind of experience, the culture, and all that good stuff. So for example, we have a lot of street food vendors here, but most likely what they're selling is Venezuelan food, Colombian food, maybe Peruvian food. There's lots of Peruvian immigrants as well. And that means that this is becoming a big mixing kind of pot for lots of Central American cultures and peoples. But now we're gonna try something very Chilean, which I believe is called mote. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bienvenido. Es, Welcome. ¿Es mote? Sí. Sí. Mote okay. con huesillo. Con huesillo. ¿Qué es huesillo? El huesillo hondurano deshidratado. Mire, venga okay. para que vean. Sí, sí, sí. Mire, le voy a regalar un poquito para que tocan. Mire, este es el huesillito de un grano deshidratado. Ah, ok, ok. Tiene sin cuerpo y es deshidratadito. Sí, ok. Una, una copa medio. Sí. No, pero déjeme para, para que prueben. Me, me pruebe el sabor. Ah, ok, gracias. Voy con tu chile, eh. Gracias, gracias. All right, mote. <laughs> Got it. All right, this is this is mote, a traditional Chilean drink. I think it's kind of like peach juice. Like, is it like wheat and juice and peach? Peach of juice wheat. and wheat. Trigo. Ah, wheat. Trigo. Okay. Muy rico. Sí. Typical Chilean. Typical in Chile. Huesillito. Perfecto. El juguito. Wow. All right, mote. A very interesting drink. Never seen any like anything like this in my entire life. So it seems to be some sort of juice made with like canned or kind of distilled peaches. Very interesting. And then to the interior of this, they have barley, I guess. So it's a drink of barley and canned peaches. Let's give it a shot. I mean, it's very sweet, very delicious in a, in a nice way. It has a sort of like, if you open a can of peaches, that's what this is. The peach, you know, nice and juicy, very sweet. And then this barley inside is very interesting. It's like, it's kind of like the idea of, of like boba. So it's like something to chew on while you drink something nice and sweet. I don't understand it, but I do like it. Saludos. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué comes? El pollo. El pollo. pollo. Okay. ¿De dónde estás? ¿De dónde estás? Perú. Perú. Okay. Yes. Gracias. So I think the main thing to understand about Chile is that it's a country that is changing. It's changing with its security. It's changing. They just elected a very, very young president to try to fix the economy, to try to fix the quality of life here. And the last part is that even making this video and realizing, you know, in a country that looks like this, very similar to uh, to a Mexico or to uh, to Argentina, is that Chile is actually very expensive. Um, that dish I ate earlier was about 15 US dollars. And um, even for a little street drink here, it is, uh, it is very, very expensive. I would not say it's the cheapest country I've ever been to. So in the center of Santiago, they have this main kind of like walking street right by the uh, the Metro Stop Plaza de Armas, which is in the northern center of the old center of Santiago. The interesting thing about this, and I'm curious if you guys have been to Chile and uh, watching this in the comments, is that a lot of my friends say I shouldn't go to the center of Santiago because it's dangerous, because the vibe is bad, because I might get pickpocketed or mugged or kidnapped or something. Uh, so they're very like protective over me. But from what I can see, this is just very similar to any Latin American country that I've basically been to. Uh, pretty much bar none the exact same experience, whether you're in Mexico or in Costa Rica or whatever. So I'm curious if the if it was very, very safe here and now it's become a marginally less safe, or if it was just, or people just, uh, or there's a lot of immigration and things are just changing here. So, curious to see, curious to see the changes, but so far I really like the vibe of Central Santiago. Very nice, very friendly people. Everyone's been very friendly, very helpful, especially with the food, which is respected. Gracias. ¿Qué es eso? Es, es... Quesillo lechizado. Quesillo lechizado y... 
maracuyá. Ok. ¿Y uh, cuánto cuesta uno por una porción 1500. de eso? 1500. Ok. ¿Pero tener uno? No. Sí. Sí. ¿Qué le da? La chasada reina, la leche, chocolate, chocolate, maracuyá y postre. Hay postre de agua, de maracuyá, de tortelada, de torta y postre. So in the spirit of this changing Chile with so many different identities being represented here in the center, I have found a nice Peruvian lady and I have bought some Peruvian quesillo or torta de quesillo, which I'm, it looks like a flan. So I'm guessing they make it with a little bit of cheese, like some like kind of like sweet cheese, some egg, and they top the whole thing off in some caramel. Now, if you know me personally, I'm a big, I'm a big flan guy. I just, I just did a whole video about flan. I just love flan. It's jiggly, it's eggy, it's just delightful. So we're gonna give this a, uh, give this a try. I know it's not traditionally Chilean, but I'm out here supporting the people. Saludo. Mm. Honestly, for a street flan, super good. It's cold. The texture is really nice. It's caramely. I really can't say anything bad about that piece of flan. To finish today's video, I want to take you guys to Cerro San Cristobal, which is kind of like the largest little mountain that you can climb here in uh, the city of Santiago. You get a beautiful view of the city of Santiago, which is basically a mountain town. Uh, there's huge mountain ranges, mostly the Andes Mountains, and then the city sits in this kind of bowl underneath, and you can really catch it from all sides. And then this is an interesting point here in the city. Uh, this virgin that you see here was put up, uh, I believe at the start of the 1900s, to replace a uh, a 10 meter tall cross that was erected in uh, nine, I'm sorry, 1646. So super, super old. What I like about this part of the new world is that it's also kind of old as well. You know, we still got 400, 500 years of pretty solid history here. So um, it's been a beautiful day. Santiago's a very beautiful city and we have definitely more coming from Chile. So stay tuned for that. If you liked the video, then make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell always super helpful for me and we will see you somewhere down there in the next video. Hasta luego mi amigos.